Since the 80s, when the first cheerleader was fed alive to Bernie Big Mouth as part of a secret ritual, mascots have developed a worrying taste for human blood. In 2009, a fearless cheerleader stood up to the Toronto Raptors' belligerent mascot. He quickly retaliated and ate her alive on national TV. There followed a wave of outbreaks across America and soon around the whole world. Cherry Bear in his natural... Oh, look out! My God, the cheerleader got too close and he went for her! Look at that, he's taken her head off in one bite! After 20 minutes of what I can only imagine must be uncomfortable digestion, the poor girl manages to escape. Cherry Bear is reduced to a twitching bone heap at this point. Gritty is another mascot who has become perverted by the taste of human. Often involved with multiple cheerleaders at once. The Russian Red now minding his own business when... Youch! Look at that, she sucker slapped him right on the nose. Oh no, wow! She dived straight into him. What? She seems to be taking him apart from within. The Red Devil is reduced to a smouldering mass. Oh, yep, here comes some medical aid. She seems to have successfully immobilized the fiendish mascot. Well done, well done. Is this the state of things to come? Are cheerleaders and sports fans around the world to ever live in fear of these violent outbreaks of rabid carnal desire? So consumed by impulse are these supposed friendly cheer lords, they'd stop at nothing until their hunger has been satiated. So the next time you're out at a game and you see one of these mascots, remember, we're coming for you.